Hey everyone, I'm Billy. We're coming back with another episode of my indie game devlog. Today we're going to be talking about a couple new models that I made for the game, as well as an updated main menu, which looks a lot better than it used to, with some cool uh, 3D animations in there. I also added a slider bar that kind of follows the player around to keep track of the time that you're interacting with things, such as the navigation computer or planning kind of traps, which I'll explain more later. I also started blocking out level 2, and I did a lot of work on level 3, which is going to be this final boss fight, so stick around and we'll get to it. Okay, so starting off with the new models I made, I started off with the player's ship. So this actually isn't going to have much impact on gameplay, but it's more for cutscenes. And this scene is the setup for the main menu system. Um, one thing that I added in here, I'll turn on and off, is this the post-processing in Unity, so you can see the... The spaceship has this emissive yellow for the lights, and it has this very bright blue emissive kind of trail in the back of it. If I turn off this post-processing volume, you can see it goes very flat and doesn't look as cool. The lights turn off and there's no emission around this. So I'll turn it back on, and I'll go over how it kind of works. So I'll click on this, this ship thruster cylinder, and I'll go over to the, the material here. So this material is actually 100% transparent right now, so you can see right through it. But what gives it that cool kind of glow effect is this emission kind of checkbox with the color here. And I have this intensity set to two. So if I go back to one, you kind of you can kind of see some of this emission coming out here. If I go real low, you can see that it's a totally transparent texture. And that looks pretty boring. So I'll, I'll boost it back up to two here. And I think that looks pretty sick on this ship. I personally think the post-processing stack is an extremely valuable tool to use in your games and um, it makes things that look way better than they otherwise would. So before this point in time the main menu was just the skybox in the background and some buttons on the side. So now I added a looping animation of the ship flying in, the dude typing on some sort of computer which isn't in there right now I still have to add it. And then I have this placeholder kind of uh, title. I still don't know what to name this game. If you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments below. As you can see, we're kind of rotating around the ship. It's got this trail renderer lit up nice and cool. He got some reflections on his helmet there. He's typing away, and then he's about to tilt the ship over. And then once the camera comes over here, he kind of boosts off into the distance. And so that, that camera does a full 360, and the animation loops at the same time. So this will just continue to play over and over and over again in the background on your main menu. So I did a little edit to the, the level one where the ship is kind of in place and you kind of spawn outside your ship. So now I've killed these aliens and walked over to the fuel cell, which is the next uh, model that I added. I'll pause it here and get a little close-up view of it. So it has some particles floating around it as well as some uh, emissive material in the middle there, similar to the, the ship's trail. And you can pick it up like you could before, and then you got your, your fuel cell with you. All right, so now I'm at the nav computer on level one, and um, this next change is a big one that was necessary for the boss fight, but it also has a big impact here. So before, when you would walk next to the nav computer, something would pop up like in the middle of your screen and say press E to interact. But now if you go up to it, you have this little bar that follows your player around. And if you start interacting with it, progress bar comes up, boom, 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 finishes, probably play a sound or something, and then your, your objective bar updates. So I'll hop over to the boss battle scene, which is something that I've been working on the, the past couple of days here and I'm super excited about. So the boss fight's gonna be over where this circle is right now, and that's gonna be its own scene once you get over there. But this is a quick layout of uh, level two. And then once you defeat all those enemies, you're gonna go through one of these two airlock doors and then head over to the boss fight area. It's gonna play a quick cutscene of these these floor pieces getting destroyed and some kind of explosion and then this kind of floats away. Okay, so now I've loaded up the boss fight scene and it's just kind of the circle pathway with the boss, which right now is just a cube and he has these tentacles that come out and try to slam the player. And um, the, my idea is the player is going to have to plant those four fuel cells that he got earlier into these cube stations and then stand there, wait for the tentacle to come get out of the way, have the tentacle slam to destroy that tentacle and do a bunch of damage to the boss. So I'm gonna click play and show you guys where I'm at right now. So we have the tentacles smashing down, sliding back. We have a uh, press E to interact popping up when I'm next to the, the cubes over here. 
one of the tentacles is constantly following the player, and the other ones are kind of random rotations. As you can see, I'm holding E, progress bar pops up, and then the fuel cell gets put in place. I'm not sure how I want it to look yet, but this is just kind of like prototyping the boss fight. So I'll do it again, hold E, progress bar comes up, the cell is placed. Progress bar comes up, cell is placed. I'm dodging all these. Progress bar comes up, cell is placed. So now the plan is to get the one tentacle to follow me. Stand here, wait for it to pop up, get out of the way, and then boom, that's when uh, it would do an explosion, do a bunch of damage to the boss, probably open him up for actual like gun attacks, because right now shooting him doesn't do anything. That's pretty much the plan for the boss at this point. Alright, so that about wraps up all the changes and additions I've made to the game. Uh, still don't have a name for it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know for sure. Other than that, I uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video, and I'll see you in the next one.